Everybody, real quick, you know, people always say, how do you find a, a good, I'm, I'm t speaking from a guy's perspective, they'll ask you, how do you find a good girl? Well, you got to like who likes you, first of all, you know, and if you find out she likes you, you know, look for what you don't like about her and ask yourself, can you tolerate it? And if you can tolerate it, then the good is going to come to the surface. And what I mean by that is you got to talk. You look like when you're talking to somebody, people will be tiptoeing around shit, trying not to hurt each other's feelings. You know, don't be rude and shit, but be you. And you got to find out what you don't like about that person and ask yourself, can you tolerate it? Because whatever it is you don't like about them, you can't change it. You know, like me, I, ask, I used to ask females everything. You know, have you ever been molested by a family member? You know, um, you ever been on, you know, I don't really ask them about sex and shit like that, but I ask them about being a family member because, you know, what, like Malcolm X said, uh, never ask a woman about another man because she's going to lie to you or she's going to tell you something that you didn't want to hear in the first place. So I don't be asking about other men and shit like that, you know. But I do ask them, have they ever been molested by a family member? And I want to know because that might have messed her up sexually. You know, that might have traumatized her mentally. I'm not holding it against her. I just want to know, you know, if that's the person I plan on being with forever. And like I always say, you know, look for what you don't like about them and ask yourself, can you tolerate it? Because whatever it is you don't like about them, you can't change it. And see, you got to like who likes you. And a lot of times we go into these relationships based on recommendation and chance. Hold on. You're going to need to, hold on. That was the train to pass by. See, we go into relationships based on recommendation and chance. And all the dumb shit we see on TV about how pretty a person is. And all, all that pretty shit don't mean nothing. It's about how a person treats you. Because like they always say, you show me the prettiest girl in the world, and I show a man that's tired of sleeping with her. So that beauty shit don't mean nothing. It's all about how they treat you. It's about their character. And like I said, when you meet them and y'all on the same page intellectually, everything else is going to fall into place. So you got to look for what you don't like about that person and ask yourself, can you tolerate it? Talk to them. Don't go into a relationship tiptoeing. That's what people like, a lot of people like to do, tiptoeing and afraid you might offend somebody. I used to ask females everything. Have you ever been molested by a family member? You know, uh, you ever had sex for money and all that other shit? I can't change it. I just want to know. You know, I'm not going to ask that, you know, I don't ask about other men in the sense that, you know, she's going to lie to me. Or she's going to tell me something that I didn't want to hear in the first place. I just want to, I'm really looking for what kind of character that this person has. That's what I'm more interested in, character. Because character goes a, lot, a long way. All that beauty and all that other shit don't mean shit to me. All right, y'all, I'm out. Peace.